Hey guys, Born619 Legacy here. So it has been quite a long time since I've made a video. I think like nine or ten years. It's insane when I actually go back and look at my old videos and see how long it's been. But I wanted to come back to this channel because I have found a new love for wrestling again. And not that I ever stopped loving it, but just a new found love for it. And I want to make videos and talk about it again. And I don't have a lot of people. Maybe there's like two people in my life who actually watch wrestling that I could talk about it with. So I kind of wanted to come back on here, get some more people to talk about it with. See what's going on in everybody's heads with AEW coming around now. Um, so this video is actually going to be about AEW. So I actually got tickets to Fighter Fest live in Daytona. Um, if you don't know, I live in Florida, so I try to go to as many events in Florida that I can. Um, so I was very excited for this, and I was not let down, I will say. Um, so to kind of start things off, I will say that... It, the night kind of started off bad for me because in Daytona, for some reason, there was no parking. There were so many people at this event. And then, of course, people just going to the beach and everything. There was just no parking. And so I had to circle around for probably like 30 minutes plus to find a parking spot. And, I mean, I had no problem paying for it, but it was just finding one that was close enough to where I could just walk over. And at this point... If I had found a parking spot as soon as I got near the arena, then I would have had 30 minutes to shop, to look around, you know, find my seat and everything. But because I spent over 30 minutes looking for parking, I basically missed half of the first match, which was um, the Best Friends match. If you don't know, I used to go to a lot of FCW events, and I loved Trent Breda. He was one of my favorites there. So I was really excited to see that he had signed with AEW and that he was having a match at Fighter Fest that I could actually get to see again. Um, so I had missed half of that first match. I was able to finish it, and everything else was great throughout the rest of the night. But So I just wanted to kind of show you guys some clips. I was up pretty far up into the bleachers, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Um, by the time I had gotten to the tickets, they were kind of already, you know, all the front row or like anything closer up was already taken. Again, it was fine. I just wanted to go and enjoy myself, see AEW live for the first time. Um, I was super excited about that. And if you have watched Fighter Fest, you know, there was, I think honestly, every match was so good. And I'm so impressed with what they're doing. And this is kind of like why I found a new love for wrestling again and wanting to make new videos. It wasn't until I went to Fighter Fest that I was like, man, I should log on to my old channel and actually start making videos again. And I've been watching wrestling these whole, you know, 19 years I've been away from this channel. But I never had the desire to come back on and talk about it again with you guys. I... I don't know, I wasn't that excited about it. Like, I still loved it, but I wasn't excited enough to want to talk about it. So now I'm back, and I'm so excited to be back and to be making new videos. And yeah, so Fighter Fest was amazing. I think my top two matches was obviously John Moxley. He was amazing. I am so glad that he's in AEW now. He actually gets to do crazy things, gets to have this actual, like, kind of like crazy out there character who just wants a good fight and I'm so glad he gets to do that now and he gets to kind of have his promos that are so good but that he never had the chance to really have a good promo and have an amazing match in WWE because they were kind of like picking through what he could say or like giving him a script and you know doing all of that so I'm so glad that he is in AEW now he kind of has a little bit more freedom to do what he really wants to do I'm so happy about that and then for me one of the top matches was the Young Bucks that match was just amazing it blew me away and I've never seen the Young Bucks live um, so to have that experience here in AEW, it was just great. And they really showed me that tag team wrestling, like, is not dead. Like, there are good tag teams out there still. And I was just looking in the wrong place. Like, I was only looking at WWE NXT. 
those are the only really two places that I was really looking um, just in general for wrestling until AEW came around. You know, I've seen the Young Bucks here and there. I've seen like short matches, but I've never seen um, a lot of them. So I'm so glad to have seen them. Kenny Omega was amazing. I'm sure everyone knows he's one of the best wrestlers right now, I would say, in the world. Same with the Young Bucks. Um, this whole pay-per-view live event kind of just blew me away. I don't know what I was else I was expecting, but I kind of didn't want to get my hopes up because I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. And I had faith in Cody and the Young Bucks that they could really do this and really get something started that's amazing. I really did. But I also just did not want to get my hopes up and, you know, just to be let down and me not like it. But I will say I loved it. And um, don't worry. I'm still going to be watching WWE. It's not going anywhere. Um, I have, if you can't tell, I have a Finn Balor shirt on right now. I'm still going to be watching it. I still love them. But I think my interest just has sort of shifted a little bit more to AEW and um, watching what those guys have to offer. I feel like I've been watching WWE my whole entire life. And I've seen what they have to offer, you know, from their storylines and everything. And it's so sad to me that some of these guys like Finn Balor and so many others on the WWE rosters, they have so much potential and they could do amazing, amazing work. But I feel like they're a little bit held back with the WWE. And I'm not, WWE is an amazing company. I know it's like the biggest one out there. Obviously, I'm not taking that away from them, but I just feel like. AEW is bringing something new. It's letting people have more control over their character and what they want to do, how they want to do it, what moves they want to do. I feel like it's bringing back hardcore matches, like where they're actually, you know, blood is happening and you're on the edge of your seat because you don't know what's going to happen and you don't know if, you know, somebody's really hurt. You know, it's bringing back what it, what WWE used to have, I feel like, and I feel like they've lost that a little bit. I feel like WWE has lost that charisma, that, you know, edge of your seat. Oh, my God, what's going to happen? I feel like it's become very played out and very, um, you can basically just tell what's going to happen next most of the time. So I still love WWE. I love AEW, though. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the clips I got from AEW. And if you want to talk about what happened at Fighter Fest, let me know. I would love to talk about it. And don't worry, I'm going to be making new videos soon. I'm going to have a haul video coming soon because I ordered a lot of Young Bucks and Kenny Omega and Cody Rhodes things um, offline. And most of them are from like Hot Topic, things like that, for wrestling tees. And so I'll be doing a haul video for that. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you continue to watch my videos, even though it's been such a long time. And let's get into the clips. Oh